to face, I embrace debate. I don't make mistakes, I just make my case. Drop spike when I'm done. One more can I say? Not bite to my tongue. I don't like the taste. I'm on in the moon and I own my phone and I'm always in the zone. Need a zone, out of zone and then we can get it poppin'. Pick the topic if you want to skip it, shine it, skip it, hop into these sports and made it pop it. All right, undisputed. Undisputed, we are live from Los Angeles. I'm Jenny Tapp here with Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp. Good morning, guys. Morning. Good morning, Jen. Thanks for coming back to join us after 35 days. Good to be back. 35 days? It was a long time. Wow. They I missed back. you guys. Well, welcome back. I didn't really miss the guy across from me that much. Wow. I, I did go to the Pacquiao fight the other night. I can't tell you how many Undisputed fans came up and said, we miss you beating up on Shannon no, this they, they, week. They, they, That's no, exactly they, they, what they, they said. They, they, I, it they, must they, have been <laughs> dozens, hundreds. Well, hundreds. I was having me a good old time yeah. in Atlanta. Were you? Yeah, I was at Fellowship Cigar Bar. Were you? Cam Newton's got a little spot. Really? Me and his dad, Cecil, was having us Were a good old time. Were you just giving up all your fitness regime? I don't know. I, love just I was just up. there. I, okay. That doesn't mean I was partaking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, you were. Annoying. You were. I had a good old... Secondhand smoke. Had a good old time. Yeah. And they said, oh, you be to the skip. Say, man, when y'all go... You gonna be back on the guest. I'll be back Monday to uh, bust him up again. Okay, well, good. good luck. Well, the day is here, and uh, we have a lot to get to on today's show. Is Aaron Rodgers no longer an elite quarterback? Oh, and really? is Manny Pacquiao back to being an elite boxer? But oh, really? let's start with Skip's <laughs> old friend, number two. Oh, My Leonard here we go. has been in the headlines a lot for his recent decisions. He decided to come to LA, but to Clippers and not the Lakers. ESPN's Brian Windhorst says. He's heard complaints the Lakers actually feel they, quote, got played by Kawhi during free agency. Mm -hmm. He also decided over the weekend to go to Manny Pacquiao's big fight in Vegas, and he took a pick with the Kawhi. champ. Uh, Kawhi. But, Skip, you know, you were at the fight I as was. well. I yeah. was. So are you surprised Kawhi was there? So, Ginny and Shannon. Yes. <sighs> I did take Ernestine to the fight. I don't know why, but I tried. She, <laughs> she wasn't real comfortable with all this. But we settle into our seats, and I glance up at the big board up there, and I, I, I see number two. And I think, is that old footage? Could he really be here? Because he doesn't come to these kind of things. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. I followed him for seven years in San Antonio, and he lived in the shadows. He never would have been caught dead at any event <laughs> of this magnitude. And so I, I turned earnest to I said, is that really? And she looks down the road. She said, he's right there. He's right there. She still loves him. I can't, I can't stop she? her. She just loves him. She's a big Spurs yeah. fan. So I think, I, I don't know what he's doing. And then I look up, and over me looms this uh, rather tall man, distinguished-looking, well-dressed, coat and tie. And he says, uh, Mr. Bayless, I'm the uncle. Oh, and I'm the like, dentist. I'm oh, like, the I, 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 you're... You, you're Uncle Dennis. No way. I'm Uncle Dennis. He says, yes. And now he's chuckling as he says all this. He says, Kawhi sent me over to remind you that his name is Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi. Oh, oh. So I said, well, I appreciate that. And I was chuckling in kind yeah. back to him. It was all good natured. It was all jovial. Mm -hmm. But I said, I'm sorry, but he will always be number two to me. We had a nice exchange and he went on about his business. And I sat back and I thought, man, mm -hmm. so there's number two. Mm -hmm. He's having his big coming out party in public tonight. And he's not just in any seat. He is in the catbird seat at the fight. He's in position A, the TV celebrity seats, which are about halfway down row two, right, right in the direct line of fire of the TV cameras. Mm -hmm. So he is saying, I have arrived. Yes. This is my coming out party, yes. and I am here. And he even brought his longtime girlfriend, who I've rarely seen in right. public, next to him. Very few people have rarely seen her. Rarely seen. And they do have a child together. God bless them. But but again, I didn't know any of this backstory until the last month or so. Mm -hmm. wow. What is the message? What is my takeaway? Yeah, what is it? Uncle Dennis wanted me to know, and number two wanted the world to know, they are now in the power position. <laughs> they are now basically running the National Basketball Association. They did take everyone for a ride, including LeBron's Lakers and his old team, the Raptors. They bamboozled everyone. They pulled one over on everyone. And now they're saying to you, we got this. And we are going to flaunt this now because we have come out of the shadows 
into the spotlight. Mm -hmm. And again, he signed a shorter term deal with the Clippers, so he's still got the league sort of by mm -hmm. dangling by the thread that he controls. He definitely right? has the Clippers dangling okay. by the thread. He does. I, I got this. So I was shocked on two counts that number two came out of the shadows and that Uncle Dennis came over to me just to remind me that, hey, we won. We got this. <laughs> we got you. We got everybody in the yep. media. I think they, they played they the media. They did. Like a big old fiddle, right? They leaked just enough information to see what was going to get out, Skip. Oh, the oh. Lakers was a done deal. Oh. oh we heard people, 99.9, oh. wow. 99.5, he's going to Toronto. Oh, the uh -huh. Clippers are completely out. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So, have you forgiven him for all this as a Laker fan that you have become? <laughs> Skip, there was really, for me, there was really nothing to forgive. I would have loved to have Kawhi. I'm not going to sit and say it because now he's with the Clippers. I wouldn't have loved to have Kawhi because I would have. But with that saying, I agree with everything you just said. And because when I look at it, Kawhi is on a new level in terms of public recognition. Mm. Skip, he was a finals MVP before. He was a two-time defensive player of the year before. But he did not swing the pendulum mm -mm. like he just did for the last... What did you always say? He played for Team Broccoli, he, right? He did. Well. And maybe he settled into that role. Maybe that was never him. Maybe that was a role he settled into because that was expected of him. That's what Tim Duncan did. That's what Tony Parker did. That's what Manu did. They were the stars. They were the celebrities. And they didn't seek attention. How can I, Kawhi, come in as a rookie, 15th, I think it was the 15th overall pick, mm -hmm. and upset the apple cart? Said, no, nah, I can't do that. Mm. But now, Skip, even though when he won all those previous awards, Skip, he wasn't thought of like he is now. Like you said, he is a new power player. He says, you know what? LeBron, KD, I'm on you guys' level. Mm. Now, may, may, he probably always thought that to himself. Maybe. Because like, hey, I did win finals MVP against you, LeBron. I was a two-time defensive player of the year with Kevin Durant and LeBron in the league in their prime. But guess what? Look what I just did. Mm. I did something nobody else thought could be done because while you two teams over there, excuse me, were waffling like, I'm coming here, I'm coming there, little did you know, Skip Bayless, I'm in the shadows. I'm lurking, and I'm about to make something happen that's going... The earthquake skip that we thought we felt that night. Was that? That bad? wasn't really a seismic shift. Mm -mm. It was a seismic shift in the NBA mm -hmm. because what he did, nobody saw this coming, Skip. We kept asking, why would he make a decision? Uh, if he's going to the Clippers or whomever he's going to, why won't he do this Sunday? Why won't he do this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Because the Clippers did not have in place what he needed them to have in place. And once they could swing the pendulum and snag Paul George, Boom, it happened. Once they got Paul George, look how fast it moved, Skip Bayless. Mm. That's why he couldn't move like we wanted him to move. He's like, well, I was going to do what I wanted to do. Granted, you were going to do what you wanted to do, but it had been very, very interesting, Skip Bayless, if Sam Presti says, nah, we like Paul George. We going to hold on to mm -hmm. him. I would have loved to have seen what Paul, jo Paul George, what Kawhi Leonard and Uncle Dennis what would have been their next move? Mm -mm. Because Sam Preston could have checkmated them. Mm. And then where do they go from there, Skip? Mm. So when I look at it, it was the heist of the century. Uh, nobody, Skip, nobody saw this coming. And that's why everybody was speculating, oh, Toronto is going to be Lakers. Clippers are out of it. Because I kept saying, he wants to play with other great players because of the workload. Clippers ain't got anybody. They, they got, Skip, they got Knight. Lou Williams is a great piece. Montero Hez is a great piece. Mm -hmm. Pat Bevs can, but they're not superstars. Mm. They, I'm like, they're not getting Giannis. Paul George just signed. Uh, 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 Jimmy Butler went to Miami. Mm -hmm. Who can they get? This is what he was talking about. Skip, the Lakers need to let this go. Mm. Look, it's like this, Skip. If you got a girlfriend, you can't get mad at the other girl telling you she won't give you her phone number. You already got a girlfriend. <laughs> you got AD. So if you didn't get Kawhi, so be it. 
Let it go, Lakers. You're not getting Kawhi. Kawhi's decided to go to the Clippers. It's okay. If AD, LeBron, and what you have in place is not enough, mm -hmm. that's on you. Okay. But I'm done with you guys talking about he played you. So what? It happens all the time. He did play them. He did. He might have cost them so some slightly better players, maybe significantly better, like B-listers. And they, they scrambled to get D-listers, but they did an excellent job with the D-list yes. that was remaining. Yes. So I give him that. And I've told you before, and I'll say it one more time, I was impressed that number two chose not to play with LeBron and AD because okay. it would have been over. Yeah, it would have. So he said, no, I want to compete against him. I need some help. Sure. I need Paul George. Correct. The two SoCal guys got to go to the Clippers, right. to the stepchild, and we're going to fight the Lakers because they were both Clipper, I mean, Laker fans right, growing up, up, obviously. And it's still possible that in two years, both of them will, depending on what happens with LeBron and his career, where he's going.